We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the New York Yankees and the Tampa Bay Rays. Rays baseball is next. Ryan Yarbrough, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things Leading around in this one here Yankee. today. Coming to the plate now, field. Brett Gardner. Brett. He'll get us started Gardner. in this one under the lights. Start of a four-game set as the game's first pitch misses for ball one. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Matty, in this sport at this level, you, you have to find a way to be a little bit realistic. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Meanwhile now, this ball's trouble as it looks like it'll be good for extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. That now exactly. that is the way you want to start a game on the road. He comes out swinging and stands at second as the first base runner of the night. Now we'll see if his teammates can pick him up and if they can punch first. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Andujar is really a well-balanced hitter. It doesn't seem to matter whether he's facing a right-hander or a lefty. He makes a lot of loud contact either way, which is quite rare in today's game. Yeah, you can tell this guy really pays attention, puts time in the cage, studies the video, seems to always have a game plan, and is not off balance too much. 2-0 and count. Here it comes. Outside, 3-0 and now. Yabro. 28 years old he was a fourth round selection during the 2014 draft and hey, when you come out of the middle rounds you have to grind for everything and that's exactly what this guy has done and he has turned himself into a solid big league ball player right. taken and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone time for a look at our umpires in this one behind the plate is Earl Hendricks Hey, d -Row, Earl Hendricks, he, he's not a guy that gets a lot of complaints by either players or pitchers. He's a pretty good umpire. Yeah, Dan, Earl's got a great track record in his sport. He's pretty consistent, and overall, he's been a fair umpire. Gardner leads off second with nobody out. Popped him up. Choi has room in foul territory, and that's the first out of the inning. Batting third, the left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Stepping in, Giancarlo Stanton. First appearance for him here with the leadoff man still at second and one gone now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Comes set and the 0-1. Yeah. Got to believe you're going to get some tough pitches in this count with the base open at first. This is where you have to regroup and find a way to get a good pitch to drive in that run. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. One out and a runner on second base. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. One, two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The next one, two pitch. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. Hard sinker misses two and two. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long, scrambling pitch after pitch, making this guy work out on the mound. 
the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. Hit out towards second. He's got it. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Batting four, the catcher, Gary Sanchez. Now in the box, Gary Sanchez, runner in scoring position with Sugan. First pitch coming, here it is. 1-0. With the runner on third, two outs, base open, and a good hit at the plate, you have to be smart and not give in. If you walk this guy, so what? It's a lot worse if you give him a ball that he can hurt you on. The set and the 1 0. Swung on and missed. One, one and one. Two out base runner aboard in the top of the first. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Reined in. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One left for the Yankees. Yankees nothing. Tampa Bay coming up. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Garrett Cole, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Yeah, Matt, his last start wasn't a particularly good one. Lasted five innings and ended up taking the loss. He's a much better pitcher than that, and I think he's looking to at least, hopefully, pitch into the sixth or seventh inning in this one. Joey Wendell digs in now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Leading half of the first. The, Ray, the designated hitter, Joey Wendell. Now the pitch. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they've got to be considered the hottest team in baseball right now as they come in winners of nine of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Matty, taking a look at the standings right here, this team has a nice lead, comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games, got the advantage. You don't one series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings. And this team, this team's sitting pretty right now. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. One ball, two strikes. Fouled off. In tight two, two. with the slider, two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. The 2-2. Two -two. Is looked at and the oh, count down. moves full. Jose Martinez is on deck. The 3-2 pitch. A bouncer up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Dan, I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what it looks like right there. That lawn dart felt that is, that so good. The left oh, field. Dero, this guy's oh, been Dan. due. He really needed that Mark one. He now with the plate, Jose Martinez. And there you see his righty-lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. First pitch of the at bat on its way. That's the ball. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1 0. Two balls and no strikes to the Rays left fielder. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Now Cole's delivery 2-0. Yeah, 
Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Nobody out, runner on first. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty, two and two. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. The 2-2. Got a full count. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. And here's the 3-2 from him. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Gardner's after it, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Batting third. The right fielder, Austin Meadows. Stepping up now, Austin Meadows, hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. First pitch on its way. Oh. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Runners on first with one down. Too high. And it's 3 and 0. Oh. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3 0 -oh count. 3 and 1. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. A lot of indecision there on that check swing, and Batting that's four. something you see quite a the lot on three base. and two. When the Number difference eight. between striking out and drawing a walk in can be an inch or two, it's pretty understandable why guys aren't always aggressive with their swings. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this one runs up high. Ball one. Full sets. Here it comes on 1-0. One -on -one. Swing and a miss for strike one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. And this pitch is looked at for a ball, and that'll even the count of the Rays second baseman at two and two. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now at two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. From the belt, kicks and deals. Ball. Three and two now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. One left for Tampa. Still no score. Giovanni Urshela first at bat for him in this one he was one for four with a double in the ball game last night and now 
pitch on the way. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. That evens it up one and one. And the pitch. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. Dan, after that base hit right there, that he's got a hit. six game hit and streak going. You know what? And this could Labor. lead this could lead him on to something Pull some that. bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well and he's been rewarded for it as you talked about. Six game hitting streak so far. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. He'll come in here at 259, seven homers and 17 RBIs. He's ready. Here's the 0-1 down the third baseline. A runner at first with no outs here. Yankee shortstop Thank behind you. in the count one and two. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And, hey, a strikeout always works, too. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew, as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. LeMahieu, a California-born ball player. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. I'll tell you what, boys. I'd like to be this guy's agent. He's approaching free agency. He's one of the best players in our game. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. The Yanks held in check. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. G Man Choi, the next and to hit. Hitless in red. four tries in the ball the game yesterday. G Man Choi. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. One. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Big swing at the knuckle curve gets nothing but air. 0 oh 2 now. Hey, I love the aggressive nature this guy's pitching with. He's got focus. He's commanding the fastball. Really being aggressive right now. A lot different than his last start where he took a loss and seemed timid and scared to attack the zone. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Batting Striding good. forward now. Not Willie good, Adamas. Tom. And he's been really? swinging it well Not the last dumbass. couple of games. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. One strike now from Cole. And it's one that's and one. It, that's the ball. One and one. To one and two now. Now here's the pitch. No, that missed. That's a ball. Full count. Yandy Diaz is on deck. Off his leg on the mound. Thankfully, he's able to recover and he gets the second out at first. Batting seven, the third baseman, Yandy. 
Diaz. Now batting, Yandy Diaz. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Cole into the windup. First pitch on its way. Starts him out with the knuckle curve, oh and he swings through it for strike one. As this game progresses, I don't think he's going to want to miss in that spot down the middle of the plate much more. It's early. They're a little less aggressive right now, so he's able to get away with it. Yeah. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. Down 0-2 to a guy with this much weaponry. Five pitches he can go to. Not looking good. Wastes a pitch on the knuckle curve there. One and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2 now to 2-2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Rays go in order, 1-2-3. We'll move to the third with no score. Striding in for his first at bat, Mike Talkman, as he's been in a pretty good stretch over the last 10 or so ball games. Now here's the pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Nope, ball. That hook stayed up in the zone. One, one. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love we'll to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Good pitch there down one, below two, the zone. Down. Got him to go after it. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got, got it to it bend a lot, and by the time the it got there, it had fallen move. completely out of the zone. Boy. Not much you can do with that pitch. At the plate now, Luke Voigt. As he watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike no one. one the average right at 280 coming in. Seven homers and 14 driven in. The wind up and the 0 1. That misses no, wide. Man. One ball and one strike. One and one. Rip down the line, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Third inning, no score to this point. Liner into right center, that's a base hit. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. Here's Brett Gardner now. Runners off for second. 0-1 the count. Runner at first here, one man out. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. Tried to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes.
Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. He's not going to be happy with the execution of that pitch at all. I wouldn't be shocked if it's time for the catcher to go out and talk to him. Get him to bend his back and drive the ball down in the zone a little bit more. Count even at two and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Fouled away. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And it's fouled away. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. The 2-2 one more time. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three-two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Payoff pitch on its way. And he ball misses four. with Pick that one way. for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. He's going to be pretty upset with himself now about that 3-2 pitch. All you want to do in that count is make a competitive pitch, but that one wasn't even sniffing the zone, and he let him get away. Here's Miguel Andujar now. First pitch coming. Here it is. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. You could tell he was guessing right there, and he certainly wasn't guessing change up. That pitch was in his wheelhouse, and he was late. And solid contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left. Martinez is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. Up next for the Yankees, the left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. 0 for 1 here in the early going. From the stretch. Well thrown sinker that time down but in the strike zone. And 1 and 1 as this one's in on the hands. Boy, his pitch count is really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. Two down, runners at first and second. Ah. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing a strike with that get-me-over breaking ball, and now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Gets a small piece near the plate, but that one rolls foul. To two balls and two strikes now. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. The set and the 2 2. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Ready with the payoff pitch. And a changeup. Couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. And that's two free passes in the third inning alone. So you have to wonder if maybe it's something mechanical or if it's just psychological. Got to get back on track here. Coming to the plate now, Gary Sanchez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. One ball, no strike. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. The set and the 1-0. And he fouls this one off. 
Two out, bases loaded. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Another one sent foul. A one-two pitch. No, that missed. That's I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Two and two. Here it is. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. Bottom of the inning now. And Here now is Mike Zanino. And you see that the average catcher. below the dreaded Mike. Mendoza line. Zanino. First offering on its way. Lays off 1 and 0. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Two up. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Two and two. Two and two. Shot toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, that even the eight, nine hole the hitters are solid big league players. Yeah, you know, Mark, these days we are not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you can swing the bat. Pitch coming, here it is. Knuckle one curve breaks outside for ball one. Nobody out, runner on first. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. one, and one. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. A one, one. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter you think you can drive it but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball a base hit in his first trip comes set with the 0 and 1 oh. awfully close with the slider there but it's 1 and 1. one Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0-2. The 
ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And a swing and a miss, and another punch out here, six already, and that's out number two. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now, now as they've it. been unable to no advance that leadoff single okay. into scoring position. Yeah, Mark clearly no dead. problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Into the box now, Jose Martinez. Oh, okay. As he'll take a look at ball one. Hit on the ground to short. Torres has it. Throw over to LeMayhew at second, and that'll do it. Ray's strand just the one. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Striding in once again, Gio Urshela. One for one after a single his first time up. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Ball. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Well, I'll tell you, he's not hitting over 300 by luck. He really knows the strike zone and his own strengths. That last take is a great example. Meadows has it, and there's one away. Now batting. And while we have a moment, here's Labor. a look at the Rays' road to the show report. Two guys there that this organization has to be happy about right now. Into the box, Torres. As he'll take a changeup here for strike one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. A one count. Here's the pitch. Hit hard down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. No runs, three hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Popped him up. Zanino is in his tracks now, and he's got it for out number two. The so with two gone here in the, the fourth, let's base. check out our pitch speed okay. comparison for the two starters. Yeah, and, whoa, you see the big number. How about 99 for a top speed? Not too many guys around the league can match that. So striding in, D.J. LeMayhew. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey, top. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Drilled to the left side. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. He looked a little bit out in front right there, but he's able to pull that ground the ball batter. through the hole for a single. The right fielder, Mike Cockman. Standing in now, Mike Talkman. 
As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 0. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Hard sinker misses two and two. As he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. The Yanks leave one. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. At the plate, Austin Meadows comes into this at bat 0 for 1 Rain. in the ballgame. The right fielder, Austin. Ready with the first pitch. Here it Meadows. comes. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Boy, he's got great stuff today, doesn't he? That's seven punch outs it? now here in the middle Number innings. Eight. He's up over one in the inning up to this point. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can change their plan of attack and start to put the ball in play. But right now, that's just not happening. In now, Brandon Lau. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. One one. Bases are empty, one man out. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Still a ball and two strikes. The next one two pitch. Here's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. Certainly not showing any signs of intimidation with these now middle of the order baseman. guys. That's back to back he K's. And the three and four guys are harmlessly back in the dugout. At the plate, G Man Choi. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Cole's ready. 0 oh, 1 pitch on its way. Ball one. Two out, nobody on. Two balls and a strike to the Rays' first baseman. Now here's the pitch. 
Now the catcher wanted it down and they got him to chase it for strike two. Boy, he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order and against the middle of the order, too. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. No runs, two hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Rays. Through four, still tied, nothing, nothing. We're back at Tropicana Field, and let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Despite the fact that they've yet to push a run across, the game is still tied, and the pitch count for their opposition is really getting up there. They think that making him work as hard as he has is going to pay off later in the game, and that they just need to stick to the Your process. Good now stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Trevor Richards, Number a six foot two inch right hander, Trevor. jogs in to take over on the mound. Richter. Into the box now, Luke Voigt. He singled his last time up. The first baseman, Luke Voigt. First delivery to him on the way. Ball outside. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. One and two, here it comes. That miss, that's the ball. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. The center fielder, number 11. At the plate, Brett, Brett Gardner. It Brett. was a walk in his last trip. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 1. And he misses with it 1 and 1. Count is 1 and 2 now. up the middle and that's through for a hit legs churning he's headed for second and he'll reach second now with one away well he was definitely struggling coming into this now one, but I think we could say that cold streak is officially yeah. over that's his second hit of the game and it goes for extra bases we'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him So now to the plate, Miguel Andujar, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. 0. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. A ball and a strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. 
Runner at second here with one man out. Fastball nope. here misses Ball. low and it's back to even now at two and two. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Set to deal on two and two. Fouled off. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Up next for the Yankees. Ready for another shot the now. Left. Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo. It was a walk in his yeah. last trip. Hoping to keep it tied. Here it comes. One ball, no strike. Waved at and missed as he took something off there. One and one. One and two now. One and two. Here it is. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. One left for the Yankees. Halfway home, still no score. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, Rays manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Despite the fact that they've yet to push a run across, the game is still tied, and the pitch count for their opposition is really getting up there. They think that making him work as hard as he has is going to pay off later in the game, and that they just need to stick to the process. All right, thanks, Heidi. Now and at the plate, off. Willie Adams. He starts off the Not inning against stop. a guy who struck out really? the side last Not inning. Coming. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Here's the first pitch to him. In need of a quick inning here, but he starts this one with a ball. It's 1-0. Changeup stays outside and he's behind 2 and 0. Here's the pitch. That's the ball. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Oh, not so fast, partner. A called strike on the inside part of the plate. Three and one now. Ball Swing down. and a miss, and the count goes full. Three and two. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings, and this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lots of swings, lots of misses, a lot of ugly at-bats for this team right now. And that's out number one. So still Third nothing three, against him two. on the scoreboard here in the Yandy. fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see right there that these guys rank second in the AL in that category. Into the box, Yandy Diaz. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. No balls in one strike. One strike now from Cole. 
One on one. One out, nobody on. And it's one and two. One ball. Wow, that was an ugly swing right there, and that tells us all we need to know. Nobody's picking the baseball up off this guy. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. That's 10 strikeouts now for him now, and I'll tell you, Catcher. he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. So here's Mike Zanino. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. A base hit in his first trip. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. Man, this guy's in a good groove right now. Seven straight retired. He's locked in. Bases are empty here with two men out. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Rays go in order. One, two, three. Sixth inning coming up. Still zip, zip. So here's the cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch coming. Here it is. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. Action in the Rays' pen now as they've got a lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. Fastball one one. laid off well below the knees. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. One and two. Here it comes. Ball. Oh. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Now that Digging in once again, Gio Urshela. His line includes a single and a fly ball and two at-bats thus far. First pitch on its way. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. Now the pitch. Ball. Bases are empty. One man out. And there's no, ball, ball two now. He's fallen That's behind now. Three and one. Three Good one. job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got to count in his favor three and one. Hops this one up. Meadows coming in on it. He can't get to it. This one's down. Another multi hit game for him here tonight. No surprise there as we now take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And as you can see, he's right up there, fourth in the AL in that category. Into the box now, Torres. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. A ball and no strikes, here it is. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And foul. Two balls nope. and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Oh. 
On a line to shortstop. But the runner is back to avoid the double play. Now batting. The second baseman. P.J. LeMahieu. Two away now in the Yankees' sixth. And that will bring in D.J. LeMahieu. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Yeah. Right. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. Still no balls and two strikes. The 0-2 once more. No, that's out. High in the air out to center field. Kiermaier's got a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. The Yanks leave one, and this is still a nothing-nothing ball game. Stepping up to the play, Kevin Kiermeyer looking to put the ball the in race. play here. He went down the on strikes in his first at bat. Kevin. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown Kiermaier. away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. One and Here's one. one that misses high. It's one and one. Up high, no, two and one ball. now. Ball three. Ball you could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. The three one. Hit hard to the right. Foul. And the pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Tuckman is there and he makes the catch for the out. Up next for Tampa Bay, the designated hitter, Joey. And that'll Wendell. bring up Joey Wendell. One for two on his line so far in the game. First offering on its way. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean that fastball was no way behind him when the swing okay. came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. To the plate now, Jose Martinez. And it's grounded just foul down the line. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. A bouncer to the left side. Throw on to Vort, takes care of him, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Rays. We are still scoreless.
Next for New York, Mike Talkman. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Not sure if this is a powerhouse pitching performance by both teams or bad hitting, but as we're moving late into this one, it's about time somebody puts something together to try to score a run. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Fouled away. Now a ground ball and a chance for Adamas at short. Right to him. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now batter, the first baseman, Luke Boyd. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Luke Voigt. He went down on strikes last time up. First delivery to him on the way. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Looking up is the left fielder. And as Yankees fans here on television quite frequently, see ya! A solo shot here to left. Eighth home run on the season for him as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Being shut out all game but not anymore. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. And it's fouled away. Upper part of the strike zone, a dangerous pitch with the changeup, but he laid off. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Again, another foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Still one and two as he fouls it away. To two balls no, and two strikes now. And right into the shift. Adamez scoops it up. And the off balance throw beats him at first. And that's a tough play. How about it? Designated hitter, Miguel and Duhar. In now is the Yankees' DH, Miguel Andujar. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Here comes the first pitch. And that misses ball. ball one. Two out, nobody on. That's wide, 2-0. Oh. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. 3-0 uh -huh. oh now. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. Oh. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Here's the pitch. Right. That one's in there, 3-1. And he fouls this one off. Three two pitch. Liner toward right center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. 
their own pitcher is absolutely Let's dealing go. right now. So Giancarlo. this is a big moment in this game. Good. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. Chaz Rohn will get the ball here now as he looks to get the rain. final out in the top of the Number seven. 52. Chaz Rohn. Giancarlo Stanton now as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike his prior history versus this arm he's just one for six runner in scoring position at second with two down barely able to make contact down 0 and two now. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, the Yankees do get one on the solo homer. Get up and stretch. stretch. It's now 1 0 New York. Last half of the seventh here, sliding into the box. Austin Meadows, the right he's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. One ball, no strikes to count. Into his windup, here comes the 1-0. Seared down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Pitch on the way. to center field. Gardner is there. One out. The batter. Number eight. Next to bat will be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Brandon Lau. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Strike one to start the at-bat. Popped him up. Torres takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. Now batting. The first baseman, G-Man Choi. Now at the plate, G-Man Choi. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business. But I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Cole gets the sign. Here's the first pitch. And he takes ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Favorable call in there for a strike. One ball, one strike. The 1-1 one, one home. Strike two, swinging. One and two. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Hit sharply on the ground. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and his side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. 
We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Yankees one, the Rays nothing. Digging in to try it again, Gary Sanchez. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just the single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. First pitch coming, here it is. And this one's one nowhere out. close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. And action now in the Tampa Bay pen as it looks like a right hander's begun to get loose. Now the 1 0. Two balls, no strikes. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. High fly ball out to straightaway center. On the move is Kiermeyer. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now batting. Third Time base. to bring you up to date on the numbers Yo. for our two starters. Urshela. It's our starter comparison, and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Into the box now, Gio Urshela. It was a single for him in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. And a ball 1 0. Hard on the ground towards short. And a base hit is that's into left, and they've got themselves a base runner. Well, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third it? single of the game, D row. Three for four. Not a bad Labor. game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. Stepping in now, Torres. Ball. A ball of no strikes. He could really use One a knock out. here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Could take there to lay off the high fastball. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. The 2 0 on the way. That missed. That's the ball. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. One out, one on, and a one run game. Line toward the alley in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And the throw in gets away from him. Hey, listen, as a pitcher, when you fall behind with three balls, no, that, you want to come in here and throw a strike, and sometimes you're going to give up a base hit. Yeah, Danny, that's the name of the game from the offensive standpoint. Work yourself, count leverage, man. 2-0, 3-0, 3-1. Buy yourself that pot committed fastball and cheat. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and that'll bring up DJ LeMayhew. From the stretch, here's the pitch. That missed. That's well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. The 1 0. Ha! Runners are at first and second with one away. And that's Your taken ball, up and right. in for ball two. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. Yeah. 
Now the 2 1. He's outside for a ball. Three and one here, you have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. And that ball misses four. for Take ball four. These guys on defense are still within striking Up distance, but after that walk, the one right swing field. of the bat could really Mike. blow this thing wide Mark. open. Standing in, Mike Tuckman. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled off. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Late swing there at the breaking ball. Must have been looking for something else. Here it comes, 0-2. Fouled away. Here it comes on nothing and two. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Catch is made. Here comes the runner from third. Now the relay home. And he is in there at the plate. It's now a 2-0 game. Hey, every Up pitcher likes game. to have some run score the for him, but particularly when you're throwing as well as he is Four. tonight, and he gets another insurance run on top of it. Luke Voigt will stand in to try it again already with one home run of the ball game, and on cue, there it was back in the seventh inning, a solo shot that provided quite a spark for these guys. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball outside. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. The 1 0 is taken for oh. ball two. A hey, time to start making Here some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Runners on first and third, two away. Outside, Ball. three Out. and oh now. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Three and zero. Oh, here it is. Yeehaw. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is. The pitch. Achoo. Three, two, two out. Runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he will get there as he had to cover a lot of ground to make that play. And that ends the inning. Yankees forced to settle for one. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Yankees two. The Rays nothing. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Stepping Andy into the box, the Willie Adamas. No hits That's to this stop. point. Even though really? we're moving into the That's back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. 
Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. Now a oh. fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. A 1-1. One, one. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches, anything on the outer half of the plate is going to look a foot outside. Still two and two. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Man, this guy's on his game today. Not only when Third he's throwing strikes, two. but how about the amount Yandy. of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, yeah. no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. 0 oh, for 2 for him to this point. Set to deliver pitch number 120. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. The 1-1 one, one home. Ball up. Couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Ah! Called strike two, and now it's full three and two. Got a full count. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing now is that. working. All of his the pitches, pitches, great command, Fight. great location. And the big no, key, with no. two strikes, he's attacking the zone. In now, Mike Zanino. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's one for two in this one. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. No ball. And this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball game, and the side is retired. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They're still down. It's 2-0. Diego Castillo enters from the pen to start the ninth now, inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it Number is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Diego Castillo. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Brett Gardner. He's two for three and looking for more here. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the now first out. Designated hitter, Miguel and Duhar. Ready now, Miguel Andujar. He doubled his last time through. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. The windup and the 0-1. 
Easy take there on the sinker well off the outside. One out, nobody on. And he misses two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Now the 2-1. Three balls, one strike. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. The 3-1. Rip down the first baseline, but this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right, and he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. How about wow! There are two parts to every great catch. One, getting the right route to make the play. And two, hanging on. That was a terrific diving catch by the outfielder. Digging in, Giancarlo Stanton. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Yeehaw! A great job pounding his own strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. So the Yanks go 1-2-3, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Your attention, please. Now, so with the safe situation on tap, they'll hand the ball over to a formidable force Aroldis. indeed. The very hard throwing left hander, Aroldis Chapman. Standing in, and Kevin Kiermeyer. Over for for two from him so the far in this field. one. Kevin Kiermeyer. First pitch of the at bat. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack. But also, the guy on the mound's got to eat, too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. Now the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Gardner is there, and he's got that all-important first out here to start the ninth. The batter. Final line there the for the Yankees hitter. starting pitcher. Joey. He was great all night long. Wendell. Wow, what a powerful performance. Eight shutout innings in line for the win. Standing in now, Joey Wendell. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's working on a one for three thus far. fouled away oh and two here it is now oh my this ball is crushed look at it go boom goes the dynamite A solo shot down the line in right. As they cut the lead in half, it's 2-1 to one now. That, my friends, is a cardinal sin for any closer. You can't give up the long ball. Good thing for him, he still has the lead. We'll see now if he can rebound and actually keep it. The battle. 
No left field. Yeah. Blake now, Jose okay. Martinez. As yeah, he looks Mark at a fastball began. that's in there for strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Fly ball right down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. Skied into straightaway right. Long run for the right fielder. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now batting. The right fielder. Off there. Meadows. Race down to their final out now. And Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. He's set and the pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making him work for this one. Fans on their feet in a one-run ball game in the last of the ninth. Now here's a ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. A ball that's carrying. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Well, just another day at the office for these guys. That stretches their winning streak to five, and they're playing well in all three phases of the game. Pitching, fielding, and hitting. Who knows how long this will last. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. New York get their division-leading 30th win of the year. Garrett Cole earns his sixth winning decision in this one with 15 strikeouts. Aroldis Chapman earns the save out of the bullpen, his fourth of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.